The Mara is dying. The host community that has protected and coexisted with this sensitive ecosystem while relying on tourism and livestock trade now faced with the devastating impacts of corona pandemic on tourism and declined demand for animal products has now resorted to coping negatively if only to survive. The Maasai community is now cutting down trees in this sensitive ecosystem to burn them for charcoal. Having seen this and projected the irreversible destruction of our ecosystem that is placing our community in a collision course with an eco-related economic catastrophe. Two friends have come up with a solution to intercept this destructive path. For centuries now, the Maasai people have been using spices and herbs not only to give their food rich flavors and scents, but to also improve their health and heal ailments. Citing one example, of all the tribes in our country, it is the Maasai that consume the largest quantity of red meat per person per year, and yet they have the least recorded number of health-related problems that are connected to high consumption of red meat. Thanks to these spices and herbs, these spices have remained a guarded secret of the community and have never been commercialized. The sad thing though is that despite their rich flavors and scents and high medicinal values, these spices are now threatened. The trees that produce some of them are the same that are now being cut down to be burned for charcoal. To intercept this negative progression, we have started a Maasai Spices Startup whose main goal is to commercialize these rich spices and herbs within the context of environmental protection that we the Maasai have exercised for centuries. We will collect, deliver, sort, prepare, package, and brand the spices and herbs for local and international food chains and stores. Through this, the Maasai will not only protect existing trees but will also plant new herb and spices trees and shrubs to match the increasing demand for their herbs and spices, thereby reversing the gears of environmental degradation in and around the Maasai Mara, one of the nine wonders of the world. There are 1.3 million wild beasts in the Mara, and for each, we are seeking to raise one dollar per wild beast to go into our spice initiative which shall in return protect the sensitive Mara ecosystem. Support us today by donating one dollar for one wild beast or by placing an order for our spices. The funds will go into the setting up of a spice tree seedlings and outgrowers initiative targeting a hundred thousand trained Maasai spice tree farmers and also the expansion of our existing packaging, branding and trade facility and also the acquisition of the necessary licenses for local and international selling of our spices. We are also looking for partnerships with industries that would use our natural flavors and scents in food and also with industries in the alternative medicine industry 
that would use our herbs for medicinal use. Hi, we are inviting you to join us to bring Maasai spices and herbs to the world and while at it, save Maasai Mara.